Hey guys, what's up? This is day 69 of posting a chess puzzle every day for a year. This one is black to move. Feel free to take a couple seconds, pause the video, and think about the position. Okay, so I will start. First thing I notice is our king is boxed in. White's pawn and rook are blocking off our king, so the only hope we have is this pawn, probably. And rook d3 check is the first thing that comes to mind. King e4, h3, and after takes h2, and we will promote. So after checks, any king move, let's say king e4, I will play h3. But what happens after rook g5 or rook g4? Planning to play rook h5 or rook h4 check. That is the main question now. Yeah, we don't have anything there. So I think we have to play like rook g3 is also an idea now. Or maybe, yeah, I think because rook here, there's king e4, and I don't think we are winning that position. So we should play rook g3, I think. And then after takes, we will be winning. And otherwise, rook takes f2, f7, h3, and we should be winning then. Now, we should decide whether to play rook d3 check or not. That is a question that we must ask ourselves. But, let's say we play h3, rook f8 check. And then rook g8. And then I think we are winning. So h3... King d6. King d6 is pl plans to go to what's it called? King e7. So after h2, rook f8 check takes, and then king e7. But if we just play there, rook here, check, king h6, and then white will play rook f8, threatening to skewer our king. And then I think we have perpetual check there for black, for white. So I think we should play something first, like king or rook g8 first, to prevent rook f8, and then after, let's say, rook e7, h2, rook e1, and then rook g1. I think that should be it. Okay. Maybe didn't calculate that, or check... Oh wait, I can just go here, here, and then yeah, I miss king g6, because after rook f7 there is king g6, and black is just winning. Well, this is a pretty decent puzzle. Rook g7, key move rook g3, blocking the g file, taking control of it, and then promote, push the pawn, keep pushing, rook f8 check, only thing to make sure you don't do is rook g8, because that loses after rook takes, and then king e7 with this promotion coming because after here you might be you might have to check and you can play here but king will white's king will eventually come here and pick up the pawns and you will lose so that is the only thing to notice and then after something like rook f7 check you just have to play king g6 or king g8 i really don't know how i missed that Thank you for watching and hope to see you in day 70 of posting a chess puzzle every day for a year.